Just like a physical fruit needs time to grow, so are the fruits of the Holy Spirit in our lives. They just don't grow overnight. They take time. They ripen as our faith in Christ matures. So there's hope for you and me, beloved. Welcome to today's life series where we learn about love as a fruit of the Holy Spirit. My name is Wange Shinderito. Karibu sana. We are going to read from 1 Corinthians chapter 13 from verses 1 to 3, NIV translation. If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. Verse 3, if I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love may be the most well-known fruit of the Holy Spirit, but again, the most misunderstood. There are different kinds of love. Philos love, that is brotherly love. Like when you meet a brother in church and tell them Buona Asifiwe or you just care about a sister or a brother in church, that is Philos love. Then there is Eros love, that is sexual love, probably between a couples. Then today we are going to dwell on Agape love, that is perfect love from God. If we read uh, in, in the book of Mark, chapter 12, verse, uh, verse 30, we will see Jesus responding to a teacher of the law, telling him that the greatest commandment is on love, that we are required to love the Lord our God with all our heart, our mind, our soul, and even strength. Then he says that the second greatest commandment, again, is on love, that we should love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Therefore, if the greatest commandment is on love, then it only means that the most important trait in the Christian character is on love. Are you loving your neighbors? Are you loving your friends? Are you loving those around you? That's a question to ponder on. As children of God, we should strive to show love to others, like reaching out to a friend visiting the sick in hospital, mourning with those that mourn, praying with a brother that has a broken heart, just reaching out to people for love and on love. Please remember that we are called to love and when we do this, then this fruit of the Holy Spirit, that is love, it gets to ripen as we mature in Christ. Thank you so much for joining us today as we have learned about love as a fruit of the Holy Spirit. Remember, I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Baraka. <laughs>